Good confession. Treat people right. Say the right thing. To please God and not myself. Without my action to show that God, I'm doing it for you. And I'm not doing it for them. And I'm not doing it for because I love you. And I want to please you. God, y'all now. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You can't say you pleasing God when you ain't praising and worshiping God for who He is and what He said. And you complain about your situation and circumstances. That is not faith. Faith is believe that He is who He say He is, and He gonna do what He said He gonna do, and He gonna turn it around like He said He gonna turn it around. He gonna heal me like He said He'll heal. I've been healed, delivered, set free, because He said it, that settles it. And I'm praising Him every day for it. I'm glorifying Him every day for it. Say it every day. I'm magnifying Him every day for it. I'm lifting Him up every day for it. My motivation is to praise the worship God because I'm walking in faith by my faith and not by sight. I'm glorifying. You think you're sitting up here looking dead at me? 
same day at me. You didn't catch it.
Tala. Ooh, I got to get out of there. That's some real stuff. And, and, and you got to understand, a lot of stuff you've been told, you need to get out of that because you need to be, you need to be activated and cultivated. You need to be flipped over, over and over and over again till you just set free. You need to be, ah, uh, move, move, move till you feel a release in your finances. You need to give the place a jump, jump, jump till you feel your money coming down. You need to give the juice of that business that's not right. Because everything in the Bible that comes, you always do the natural thing to prove a spiritual thing. You do the natural thing, your body, your action to prove a spiritual thing. I got joy. You might have it, but where is it? Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You have to use this. I said, I'm ready. And so, I said, how you doing? I'm ready. Because you're actually with this. And with this. And adding up with this. Because you don't know, you take the natural thing to prove the spiritual thing. I'm free. Because you're scared of evil. You, you be moving on about the ship doing certain things. Because you're free. I'm here. Oh, I can't go up no step. You ain't here. Because mm. you was here. How you know you was here? If you're like, you can't go up no step. So you don't talk. And you add up. You know? You should have went on for one of the steaks out and said, have plenty of money. Hey God, man, this ain't on me. And I got some food tonight for investment I can do to show you I got money. Y'all have? Think about it, God. And when you begin to understand God and begin to do things with God, because you gotta without faith, baby, it's impossible to please God. You can throw all these nuggets and everything you want to say in your life, but your actions tell you that you ain't believing God. Your conversation said you say one thing out your come, you two talking. You say one thing out your mouth, but I'm blessed. How you blessed when you took a pain like a seller? You ain't believing God in it. I don't know about moving in my life. Well, when I was in church, I couldn't get any moving in my life. You see this? Because I could put you with one of them dummies in the morning. I ain't got a good. I ain't getting no moving out of you. When you move, you almost scared me.
praying and bring all of us subjected to the power of God. You need to pick that Because, why? Because it is real about being tired. That's real. How many of us real? How many of us real? How many of us real? But it's, all called, it's also called supernatural energy. Supernatural motivation. That you come alive in church by the time you get to church. You're in a dying body in church, but you're, you're different. You're in a dying body out of church. Instead of being an injured body in church. Ain't God be real. Sometimes I get the car ready to go. You still around talking and telling me this that with everybody. I didn't do that with you by dead and dead. I'm going to get in here, bro. Ain't God good. Ain't that really? Put your hands together and pray. Somebody take it off. It's not a free book. But I pray that it's a public free book. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Lord. But as you pastor, you put that knowing in them, protection on them. They need it. Hey, how many know we need it? And this ain't going to be the first time, this ain't going to be the last time. Uh, later on, we'll have to do it over there, but today we want to just want to do it in unity as a church. Amen. And as we begin to let it go ahead and begin to pray, and, uh, and, and give us a little something. You want to fix something? Or you know? Yeah, yeah no, you got on. You got to get it on. You want to know it all? Amen. Come on, lift it up. Hallelujah, God.
Maharaj.